Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. In this video, we will cover the key services that you should study in detail to prepare for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate SAA C03 examination. Let's get started. First service that you need to know is EC2. EC2 is the fundamental compute service offered by AWS. It's crucial to have a comprehensive understanding of EC2 and its various aspects. Next, we have Lambda, which is commonly used for serverless applications. Explore how Lambda integrates with AWS services to build complete serverless solutions. Next is Elastic Load Balancer. ELB is essential for maintaining high availability. Learn about the different types of ELBs and their respective features. Next, autoscaling. Autoscaling is another important topic to cover. Understand which AWS services can be autoscaled, the triggers for autoscaling, and how it affects the number of EC2 instances. Fifth one is elastic block storage. EBS is the primary storage solution for EC2. Study the different types of EBS volumes as well as how to secure, backup and restore them. S3 and Glacier. S3 and Glacier are AWS storage services with various use cases. Explore the different types of S3 storage and learn about S3's capabilities such as hosting static websites, securing access to objects and implementing lifecycle policies. Next, Storage Gateway. Storage Gateway is worth studying, particularly when, when to use it compared to services like S3 or EBS. Differentiate between Data Sync and Storage Gateway, understanding their use cases and differences. EFS. EFS is closely associated with EC2, similar to EBS. Determine when to use EFS compared to other storage services, considering the trade-offs between the cost and efficiency. RDS and Aurora. RDS and Aurora are database services with distinct features. Compare different RDS databases and understand the unique aspects of Aurora. Dive into parameters group, option groups, and subnet groups. Next, DynamoDB. DynamoDB is frequently covered in exams. Familiarize yourself with DynamoDB and comparisons to RDS, Elastic Cache, and Red Redshift. Elastic Cache Redis. Elastic Cache Redis is a caching service worth exploring. Learn where to place a caching mechanism like Elastic Cache to enhance data throughput in various scenarios. Next, VPC, NACL, and security groups. These are vital for networking and security. Master the creation of VPC components and understand the difference between NACLs and security groups. Route 53. Route 53 is AWS's DNS service. Study the different types of records and routing policies. Additionally, grasp the concept of hosted zones and domains. Next is IAM. IAM is crucial for securing your applications. Understand IAM users, groups, policies, and roles. Explore IAM's integration with other services and how it provides security through policies. CloudWatch. CloudWatch is the monitoring service in AWS. Learn about its metrics, CloudWatch logs, CloudWatch alarms, and custom metrics with CloudWatch agent. CloudTrail. CloudTrail works in conjunction with CloudWatch. Familiarize yourself with its functionality and the types of logs it stores compared to CloudWatch logs. Kinesis. Kinesis is important for streaming data. Gain a high level understanding of Kinesis sharding and Kinesis data streams. CloudFront. CloudFront helps accelerate websites. Study how it speeds of content delivery and the types of content sources it serves from. Also learn about the different supported certificates. SQS. SQS is helpful for decoupling system. Understand the management of messages, messages in queues, including standard queues, FIFO queues, and dead letter queues. Differentiate SQS from SNS, SES, and Amazon MQ. SNS. 
SNS enables push notifications. Explore its function and integration with other services. Familiarize yourself with the supported recipients for SNS notifications. Lastly, study SWF, CloudFormation and OpsWork. Understand their capabilities, use cases and the scenarios where they are commonly employed. By focusing on these core AWS services, you will be well prepared for Solutions Architect Associate SAAC03 examination. Good luck with your studies. And a gentle reminder here, please ensure that you cross-reference this information with the official AWS documentation and the exam guide for most up-to-date and accurate information. Well, that's it I had for this video. If you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.